Hey, Wrangler 4xE fans, let's talk about charger placement and charger selection. Some of the things you might want to look for in your EVSE. These are actually called EVSEs because the charger is built into the vehicle. This is not a charger, it's an EVSE, but we will call it charger from this point out in this video just for fun. So uh, five years ago, actually this week, I bought my first electrified vehicle. It was a dorky little fun smart car, smart electric drive, awesome little car, loved it. It's my now second favorite car ever. And I installed a charger, uh, did it myself. I am not an electrician, I just play one on videos. As you can see, the proximity to my electrical panel made that very easy. And that's really what decided where that charger would go. Actually, I had a smaller unit. You can actually st kind of still see the footprint where the smaller Clipper Creek was that I had before this one. I used the same NEMA 1450. I did have to update my wiring when I went with the bigger unit here. But let's talk about placement first and what type of charger you might want second. Placement, one thing to think about is where your alternative parking space is. This spot where I'm standing right now is where my Wrangler 4xE normally sits. But what also happens in this space sometimes is anytime we have any kind of construction project around the house or any kind of thing that requires a place to store stuff, this is where it goes. Because I rank number two when behind my wife, and rightfully so, her car always gets to stay in the garage. Mine sometimes gets parked outside. So I didn't do it on purpose, but I really like this location because I can string off enough cable here and I can park outside and still close the garage door. Had I installed that closer to the front of the garage, I wouldn't have been able to do that. If I would have installed it closer to the back of the garage, because this was my original location that I was thinking about, that kind of would have been a pain because of where the charger is on the Wrangler 4xE. So this spot actually ended up being perfect for the Wrangler 4xE, and it was perfect for my smart car. And it provides me with this alternative parking location where I can leave it outside. And as you can see, it's still plugged in. Now, let's char talk about charger selection. One thing I love about the Clipper Creeks is they have cable storage built into the device. You know, you can wind this cable up on this charger, if I can do it without unplugging it, and you have a place to store it. Now, why does that matter? Well, you're going to be dealing with this cable every day for a lot of years. And one thing I like to do with mine is keep the cable very nice and very neat and stored in here in a way that it's not hanging all over the place. This is how I leave it all the time. And I plug in my connector there. And as you can see, I don't have any cable hanging down on the floor. And when I pull in, I can literally take this thing and plug it right in the vehicle right there. It stays up, stays neat and uh, you're not having it laying all over the ground. So, and also I highly recommend having like a holder like this of some sort to protect those pins, you know, protect those things from getting dirty or gunky or bugs or anything in there. So just wanted to share those tips from somebody that is now at the five year mark of driving an electrified vehicle. Uh, some things to think about. I know there are a lot of new Wrangler 4xE owners that are also new to plug-in hybrids or anything electrified. So I thought I would just share that little bit of a tip from anybody who's uh, who's new to this and hasn't already installed your EVSE. Those might be some things to think about. So there you go. Thanks for watching.